Hi guys and welcome back to Studio One with me Gregor. So today we want to take a look at the arranger track which allows you to shorten, extend, rework or even remix your songs and is especially powerful in conjunction with scratch pads. Let's take a look at both. The arranger track is the track up here that you can open with the highlighted button above the track list and you can draw in sections by holding the command on Mac or control on Windows key and then just dragging along with your mouse. As soon as you start moving the sections, all of the events that you see underneath will be moved as well. If the event boundaries extend the range of your section, Studio One is smart enough to first cut the events before it moves them. What I especially love about the Arranger track is that it handles deleting and replacing in a ripple edit style. So for example, let's say I want to take this end section here and I want to move it onto the build section to replace. It doesn't matter for the Arranger track that the build section is actually twice as long. Watch this. I want you to think about all the steps that would have been required if I did this manually. First, I would have had to select everything in this range, I would have had to slice it all, then I would have had to go to this point here, the end point, select everything again and slice once more. Then I would have had to go to the end section and make sure everything is nicely cut there. Then I would have had to select everything in this section and delete it. Then I would have had to get this part here from the end section and move it here. And then I would have had to move everything to close the gap again. And all of this, all of these individual steps were handled by just one simple drag and drop. Think about how quickly you can restructure or experiment with your song thanks to this workflow. What makes the Arranger track even better is the amazing synergy that it has with the scratch pads. So scratch pads are like alternative song windows basically. We can have infinite amounts of scratch pads and they're perfect to store additional ideas and stuff we might need later on without having to clutter everything here in our arrangement. So let's say I want to try and move this part to here but if that doesn't work out I still want to have my build section for later. How do I do this traditionally? Well, I would probably start copying it to the side of my track and at some point I would also do this with other sections and yeah, at some point my arrangement would have 130 bars or so even though I'm effectively just working at 75 and it's gonna make zooming a mess and everything is gonna get more complicated and clunky. Instead, I can just move all these sections to a new scratch pad, like so. Now they open up in their completely different window, I can even play them directly from the arranger should I desire and now I have my arrangement free to put the actual song into focus. So let me show you this in action. Let's say that I want to make this song drastically shorter to have it social media compatible or what have you. So we have this intro section twice, we have an intro B section twice and then we're going into the build up. Ain't nobody got time for that. So let's just drag the intro A section onto intro A and deleting it effectively. Let's do the same thing with intro B and we already have a much shorter song. <laughs> Uh, let's say we have even less time, so let's just delete this range here. Okay, and then into the build-up. So let's say we don't even have time for the build-up, we want to go immediately into this banging drop. But in case that doesn't work, we still want to have the build section around. So this is the perfect opportunity for scratch pads right here. So first of all, let me move this entire section or better copy to a new scratch pad. And you're gonna see why in a minute. Because now I can just use the replace ripple uh, behavior of the arranger to my advantage. I'm just moving the end section onto the build section and it doesn't matter that it's way shorter, the arranger track is gonna handle that by itself. And um, as we can see, the end part is just consisting of this 
one little explosion sound. So it's probably not gonna work out. The pause is just way too long. All right, so let's try and shorten it to here, okay? And then let's replace the build once again. Okay, that's already way better. So let's try and reverse this really quickly by right-clicking it. Yeah, that's already good, but I'm missing something that we had from the original build-up. So let me open up the scratch pad where we have stored the build-up and I'm specifically referring to this sound here. So that sound I just want to have also here. And then I just drag it from my scratch pad back into my original arrangement, like so. And here I have my much shorter build-up. So that is how quickly you can work with the Arranger track in conjunction with Scratch Pads. Amazing synergy between the two. Try it out for yourself.